Hey everyone, this is Mike with Elite Auto Outlet in Bridgeport, Ohio. My phone number is 740-633-8888. And what I got for you today is this beautiful 2013 Dodge Grand Caravan SXT. I uh, just picked this one up. We're going to do a quick walk around on it. I'm going to show you the inside. I'm going to start it up, show you some of the features, show you any defects that I can see, and uh, help give you a better idea of the vehicle condition before you travel to Bridgeport, Ohio to test drive the car. That's what our videos are for. They're for folks who aren't local, who find us on the internet and are able to take a look at the car without just looking at the pictures that are on car gurus or cars.com or any of the different features or places that we're on. And uh, this will give you a better idea of the condition. So you know what you're getting into when you get here. A lot of people, you know, pictures can hide a lot of things. You know, they say a picture is worth a thousand words and it's worth a thousand words when you're about three feet away and you really can't see everything. So let's get real in depth with this one and uh, show you what we got. 2013, 120,000 miles. Uh, front end is in great shape. A few little rock chips here and there. And these aluminum hoods, you'll also notice, have a little bit of oxidation in them. Um, you'll see the little places right around the front here of the hood, like right in this area where it's bubbly. And that's where the oxidation gets in with the paint. You see there's a little spot right there too. Headlights are nice and clear. Overall looks good, all your glass is in good shape. It's got Continental, General Continental tires on it. Maybe just Continental tires. Matching set all the way around. They look like they have about, uh, I'd say about 90% tread left on them. They're recently new tires. And uh, if you can look through the brakes there, at the brakes you'll see that the uh, uh, it has new brakes front and back. Uh, going down the side of the body, a little scuff right there on the mirror, but you'll see nice and clean on the way down. Nothing crazy. A little bubble in the paint. These all tend to rust right here around the fender wells. That's uh, one of the nicer ones that I've seen. Good tires on the back, and like I said, it looks like it has new brake shoes on the back too. Interior on a minivan is what you want to look for. As you can tell a lot by the interior of a minivan on how well it's taken care of. Uh, because minivans are usually people movers and their, their interiors usually um, get beat up by kids and pets and different things you can see this one's in great shape it has a lighter cloth that's been uh really well taken care of no rips no tears or anything in the front seats it's got the black carpet all the carpets in good shape all your plastic pieces and everything are looking good it does have the dual power sliding doors and these vans have stow and go which is a nice feature where you can take these quad captains these two captain chairs in the back fold them down into the floor and then you can fold the third row down also into the floor and that'll give you a flat surface without having to take the seats out which is really nice and as you can see this one is uh, like I said in great shape um, doesn't look like if they had kids they were older kids and they took care of their car which is great these vans are usually pretty well abused one thing I noticed on the door it does function but you'll hear that it makes a noise when you close the door, it makes a little like a buzzing sound. It does that every time you close this side of the door. I do not operate or fix any of these doors on these cars, on these vans, because you can get into a project with them and I think you have to remove the doors when you do it. So I don't mess with the doors. They do work and function without the automatic door lock function. And uh, the, these ones still do work fine. They just make a noise. Uh, driver's side doesn't make a noise the passenger side does in the rear you'll see a little place on the back bumper and this one is a one owner car with no accidents reported and it does have the power lift gate feature and you can see you got all the original floor mats in there and a pretty much uh, pretty good ample storage room when the seats are up too where you can put stuff down in it for like vacations and everything i've taken my family on vacations in these vans and they do great for you can have up to six people in them and uh it's really a comfortable ride and it holds everybody's stuff 
And as you can see too, this one does come featured with the uh, automatic, uh, uh, I guess you'd be the shades. That's pretty cool. Got shades in all four windows back here. Um, let's see what else we got. Everything looks good back here. Does have the power lift gate option. Great option to have. You can open up the lift gate in your car and not have to get out if you have somebody loading something in the back. This wheel well is better than the other one. Absolutely no bubbling on this one. Very clean. And going down the side of the body on this side too, also very clean. This is a one owner car. Somebody took very good care of it and it shows. It even has brand new PA inspection stickers on it. It's just done in, oh not brand new, done in May. Good until May of next year. Get in on this side. Give you the show you this. This is another thing we'll have to look into, but it looks like the rear seat bolster somehow got ejected. This is for if somebody hits you in the rear of the vehicle, this thing will pop out to prevent whiplash. I'll get my mechanic to take a look at it. May need a new headrest or possibly correct it because I'm not sure how that works. It doesn't affect anything. You really look at the angle, it's not that bad. Uh, it's just kind of a cosmetic thing at this point. Um, you do also have rear entertainment if anybody still uses these um, this one does have it <laughs> I know these are kind of going to the wayside because uh, everybody uses iPads now but also has rear air conditioning too which is a nice feature keep everybody cool in the summertime as you can see this door works also and it doesn't make that that noise that motor noise Got a little place right here where it seems like all these Dodges crack on this panel. These are in like all the vehicles, Durango's, the, the Dodge Caravans, uh, Jeeps. <laughs> but you got a full power control. You got a power driver's seat also. Um, this is the XXT model, so it's not like your base model. It's the next step up from the base. It gives you that nice, not that SC where it has that, uh, where you have uh, hubcaps and all that stuff this one actually has the nice wheels and you'll see it has 120,000 miles on it no engine lights no check engine lights no abs no no lights light free air conditioning is nice and cold you have your rear controls and your regular controls this is economy for if you want to run in economy mode this here is for the power outlet that's probably in the back 115 volt power outlet um has the screen in it that gives you the uh, media drive where you can actually um, record CDs and save them inside of the, the stereo and not have to carry the CDs in the car. Has XM radio too. It sounds really good. Um, has all your books. Has all of your uh, information in there uh, for your owner's manual. These are all your controls for your rear doors and your tailgate. Um, stereo, like I said, sounds good. Has cruise control, has the Bluetooth so that you can put your phone in there. Lots of storage in these little storage cubby areas. Got a couple of power outlets there too. Um, has a 3.6 liter Pentastar, which is a great motor. That's in Durango's. It's in um, Dodge Avengers. It's in Chrysler 300s. It's in Dodge Caravans. It's just about it's the flagship v6 motor from dodge go ahead and rev it up so you can hear it i'll put the window down super smooth no noises no exhaust noises this is a very quiet van um don't even hear it running when it's running had to move it earlier if somebody could get into the parking lot and i thought the thing was still running it wasn't <laughs> I'll show you under the hood though because so you can hear it. Three point six liter variable valve timing Pentastar sounds great. These are very reliable motors. As you can see on that front, there's no crustaceans under the hood or anything. Uh, it is clean, other than what I've showed you on the very lip of it. So if you have any questions though, my name's Mike. My phone number is 740-633-8888. We're going into just leaving summer. What a great time to buy a van. 
to be the perfect people mover. You can have those third row SUVs and that four wheel drive, but can you really get something that's gonna haul the family and give you about 22, 23 miles per gallon too? That's one of the advantages of these vans is that you have a lot of room and not a lot of fuel mileage, or a lot of fuel mileage. So thanks a lot. We appreciate you checking the car out. Phone number is 740-633-8888. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We love our subscribers. We also are on Facebook. Thanks a lot and have a great day.